Uh, we are now joined by Mr. Rajesh Mehta, who's chairman at Rajesh Expo, joining us on the phone line from Bangalore. Thank you very much, Mr. Mehta, for being with us here on NDTV Profit. Uh, could you just help us understand what's really happening on the ground as far as this strike is concerned and how much of it is really impacting your business? Well, um, the strike, as you know, is uh, primarily for the levy of 1% excise duty on the manufacturing of jewellery, which is to be sold in the local market for to retail market or to retailers. So this 1% levy of excise duty, the industry feels, and I also am with the industry, we feel that this levy is not required because by this levy, the primary thing which is going to happen is that it will encourage the business in the other channels. That is, it would encourage people who will be, you know, getting gold by smuggling or will be getting gold by unorganized means. So they will manufacture the jewelry without excise duty and will sell the jewelry to the customers in an unorganized fashion. So after a long time, since the last around five or seven years, this industry has come in the organized sector. Entire, primarily, most of the gold getting imported in India is imported after the payment of customs duty, and everything is in the organized manner. It is going on in the organized manner. But this levy of 1% excise duty will cause serious and severe problem to the industry as far as the competition from the unorganized sector, competition from people who want to do the business without the payment of government taxes will increase and take the industry back to the old times. So that is the primary reason why this industry is striking. And also because excise will be an additional, you know, harassment to the jewelers. It will be an additional uh, bookkeeping. There are so many books to be kept. There are so many systems to be followed. So when the government is telling that it wants to make the business easier, then why do we want these kind of things to come in an industry which it has never been there? If the government is worried about getting 1% extra from the jewelers, I would suggest that they should take it from the customs duty. Let them increase the customs duty from 1%, uh, from 10% to 11%. That is also give, that will also give the same revenue. In fact, it will give more revenue to the government. So I think this is unnecessary excise duty and the strike which is going on, I think, is on the right track. So Right. So what's the way forward now? As we've heard the finance minister ruling out any possibility of a rollback of this excise duty proposal. What's the way forward now? Till when are the jewellers expected to continue remaining on this? Are you uh, putting up presentations in front of the ministry, government? What is really the way forward now? Yes, the industry associations are putting up uh, uh, you know, various presentations to the government. Maybe the government has been a little bit misled by, you know, maybe people who do not know the industry fully. So we are quite confident that the government will understand the difficulty and plight of the industry and the government will roll back this 1% uh, excise uh, duty which is there. We are quite confident and that is the primary reason why the strike is continuing. Okay, but as you know, I mean, the way it, there has been a ruling out really coming in from the uh, government side, do you still hope that they will be able to uh, consider your request? I mean, uh, what is it that you are hearing and how soon are you expecting some sort of a resolution of this issue? See, we are quite confident. We understand and we, we feel that the government is sensitive to the industry needs and government is sensitive to the people's needs. Basically, this 1% uh, excise duty is impacting millions of people in terms of, you know, workers in jewelry industry, workers in the jewelry showrooms, and various other uh, things. Plus, it is an un not required burden on the retail customer as well. So, we are quite confident that the government being sensitive to the industry and sensitive to the people would understand our problems and would roll back the 1% uh, excise duty. But the jewellers are, of course, clear that, uh, you know, uh, the strike will not be called off till this excise duty is rolled back. I mean, you will remain committed to that. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, yes. I think we will remain committed to that. It all depends on the call given by the association. And the association, as of now, has given a call to continue the strike. 
So we being in the jewelers uh, fraternity, we would like to continue the strike. And I think uh, what the association is doing is correct. That is what is my feeling. All right. So that was Mr. Rajesh Mehta.